I'm Dick Leggett. I'm uh, president of the Derek Prince Ministries USA office. Very grateful to be here with you. That's great. Um, can you sh tell us through a story, perhaps, or you know, sort of sharing some information of how Derek's teaching is impacting lives um, through our outreach? Sure. Well, uh, one Wednesday every month, uh, we gather the staff of Derek Prince Ministries USA. We have 18 full-time staff people. And we uh, devote time just to reading testimonies from people who have been impacted by Derek's teaching. And I, I could give you uh, hundreds of testimonies of people who write to us and they say, just at the time, that I needed a word from the Lord of encouragement or hope, uh, or just as I was dealing with the effects of rejection in my life, along came the teaching by Derek Prince that dealt with that exact topic. And most of the letters end by saying, I, I've prayed the prayer, I took the step that Derek recommended in his teaching, my life has changed forever. I, I have stepped away from this. We also have in our office a, um, an outreach where people can call and actually get prayer coaching and, and counseling, not counseling, but prayer coaching and uh, from a number of our staff members. And we've had people who have been uh, baptized in the Holy Spirit over the phone. We've had people who have uh, received Jesus as their Savior over the phone. Uh, received uh, freedom from the torment of oppressive spirits over the phone. And uh, we've even had a person who was water baptized over the phone. Now, that sounds strange, but uh, he called in and the, the person that was talking with him said, you really need to be baptized. Get that old man crucified and dead. And he said, well, I'm sitting in the, the bathtub right now. Can, can you just pray a prayer over me? So the person praying said, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. And he held the phone up, went down, and was baptized. So uh, testimony after testimony of people whose lives have been impacted by Derek Prince and by his teaching. As you look uh, forward to 2015, what are some of the biggest initiatives that you've undertaken in the U.S. office and also in a wider context uh, of making their, more of their teaching available? Well, as we uh, launch into 2015, uh, there are two primary areas that we're really focusing on. Uh, one is that the, uh, the U.S. office of Derek Prince Ministries is tasked uh, with impacting all of Latin America. And so all the, the people who are Spanish-speaking people uh, around the world are our responsibility. We have a major effort that is going on to reach Spanish-speaking people, to reach the Hispanic population. So that's one of our major goals. And the other major goal that we have uh, received a mandate from our board uh, to really impact are uh, college-age people who uh, we're trying to introduce Derek's teaching uh, to those who are in that, that demographic, that age group. And uh, we're giving away material uh, to college Bible study groups. They are using it in the most remarkable ways. And we're seeing some fruit from that already. But those are two uh, very strong areas. And then more on a global level, uh, Derek Prince Ministries USA has the primary task of preparing uh, the material that will eventually end up in books and booklets. And uh, we are on track, basically, to uh, produce two major books by Derek every year uh, for the next 10 years. So that's 20 more major books that we are anticipating that we will prepare. And then in, in conjunction with that, we also have um, smaller booklets that are single messages that we produce out of that office. So we have editorial team in the United States who is primary, we're primary, primarily uh, involved in uh, producing that material and getting it ready for publication and then distribution. That's great. Um, if we were to ask you about perhaps a couple of prayer requests that 
you can share um, with supporters in different parts of the world? How can they pray more effectively for your outreach, for your ministry in the United States and Latin America as well? Well, that would, I would say that that would be one of the primary areas um, for prayer would, for the U.S. office would be how do we approach this whole uh, task of reaching all of Latin America. You know, it's somewhere around 30 nations in Central America, South America, Spanish-speaking Caribbean. Uh, it's, it's an enormous uh, task, but it's also an enormous opportunity. And uh, it's a little bit different in the fact that all of those nations are Spanish speaking. So it's not like in other nations where we identify, identify a nation uh, who would like to have Derek's material in their indigenous language and then we grant them permission. All these nations speak Spanish. And uh, ostensibly we could have a, an office or an outreach of Derek Prince Ministries in each one of those nations. but. We don't feel that that's the, the, the wisest approach, so we just need to know how the Lord wants us to approach this. And um, we have every confidence that, uh, that the Lord has a plan. We just need to know what it is. So pray that we'll understand the plan that the Lord has uh, for Latin America. I just want to say to you, as you support the work of Derek Prince Ministries USA, uh, that your uh, contribution is having a tremendous impact. People's lives are being changed. Uh, people who are needy and who are without hope are, because of your involvement, uh, receiving the Word of Life and the Word of God, which is transforming their lives. We simply can't thank you enough. Thank you so much.